Today we are going through a massive 14, 12 bottle <laughs> store haul that's been a long time coming. So I'm excited to get into it. Let's go. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Carlos. Thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Corner. I feel like I'm doing like a Broadway play here. Uh, but yeah, the Whiskey Corner is all around me. So I do appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out this video and supporting. I really am grateful for all of you for uh, supporting the channel. If you are seeing this, if I actually put this out before Thanksgiving, then I hope you have an amazing Thanksgiving. Uh, family and friends but if I put it out after Thanksgiving then I hope you did have an amazing Thanksgiving with family and friends and you enjoyed yourself well we are doing this store haul and we need to get through this really quickly but you guys know that I do the inaugural cheers first so cheers that is really really freaking good I need you guys to do me a favor though. Before we get into all of these, please subscribe. You guys know I'm doing a thousand subscriber giveaway live stream. We'll be giving away a few bottles and some other stuff. And if you subscribe, you'll help me get to that thousand subscriber goal. Plus you'll be put in to uh, get those raffled off. So. Let's start this off. That that I'm drinking is the first one that we're gonna get into and it's the Kentucky Owl Takumi Edition. Yes, Takumi Limited Edition. I already shot a review about this and I'm gonna edit it and put it out because yeah, I actually really like that. So be on the lookout for that review. It is expensive though, 150 bucks. So just be ready for that. That's what you're paying, right? Um, another thing that I did get that was a little expensive for a rye because you guys know I'm not a rye person, but this is from Smoke Wagon and it's their malted straight rye, straight rye whiskey. And this was about 70 bucks plus $12 shipping. So you guys do the math. Yeah, it's expensive for me to pay this on a rye because I'm not a rye person, but I love everything that MGP does and everything that, um, actually, let me rephrase that, anything that Smoke Wagon does with MGP, right? With the MGP juice. So I'm excited to actually taste this and see how that is. Another one that was on my list to actually get this year is Balcones Big Baby. This cost me about 45 bucks and I'm excited to finally get it. It is bottled and bond corn whiskey matured in tequila cast. Obviously Texas whiskey with that tequila twist. I am in love. I hope that is good. I haven't opened it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Another one that I did get and you know, it wasn't on my list, but it was kind of expensive is that Yellowstone 101 limited edition 2022 edition right now this one was expensive it was about 130 bucks but it is good check out my review here or there i don't know i never know which side it's going to come out on but it is really freaking good so i definitely implore you guys to go get it and look at my review it's already there uh, already shot but talking about expensive as well one that was on my list to go and get this year also and go and find is remus repeal six so remus repeal six came out and you know after remus repeal five everybody's been looking for it um i actually was able to find it at a local total wine but it was like about 120 125 bucks so it is a little expensive and I don't think it's that good as Remus Repeal 5. So yeah, I guess you gotta take the good with the bad. It's not a bad bourbon on its own and I did shoot a review about this which I have to edit and put out so be on the lookout for that. 
All right, so ones that I cannot find yet in my area. I'm getting pissed off about this. If you guys know where I can find this, please let me know. But BRT01 and BRT02 from Maker Smart are two that I have not been able to find. Nobody knows about it. Nobody knows when they're coming. Nobody knows anything, right? You can feel my frustration. But to get me, I guess, into the spirit of waiting for that, I was able to buy two private selections that I think were worth it. You know, the private selections are about 70 bucks each around that. So I was able to get two of them, one of them from Lucan's Spirits or Lucan's Liquor Store. And this is a single barrel Cigar Co. Uh, private selection. You know, they got me with the cigar thing. This was really good. Kind of took a leap of faith because they didn't have a taste of it. And I'm glad I bought it because it is actually really good and I do get to buy notes from it. Now another one that I was able to buy at my local Total Wine is one called Fireside Spice. Now they did have this um, already open and they gave me a taste of it and that thing is incredible. That definitely reminds me of being in front of a fire in the winter with the spiciness. It's just overall good. I didn't open this one yet. I am gonna open it but I, I did taste it over there and it was superb so I'm glad I bought that as well something else that I did buy at that local total wine recently is something that's not really allocated or rare to find right but I did want to at least experience it so I got myself a whistle pig six year bourbon this is called piggyback I did see the rise everywhere and People talk about Whistle Pig and the rice. I'm not a right person, so I am glad that I was able to get a bourbon from them. And, you know, at 100 proof, I don't think it's gonna be bad, but I guess we'll see when I open it up, and uh, I'll let you guys know. Another thing that I was able to buy that I was looking for as well is the Redwood Empire's limited releases. This one is the uh, Grizzly Beast. So I'm not sure if it's really a limited release, but it's one that I don't really find in my area too much, right? They have a rye one as well. But this one is a bottled and bond one, and I love everything that Redwood Empire does. Lost Monarch, Pipe Dreams, even Emerald Giant, even though I don't have a bottle, tastes really freaking good. So I already opened this, but I gotta shoot a review for you guys, and I'm excited to do that because, yeah. Redwood Empire is definitely a favorite of mine. So I went to a um, liquor store opening. Bronson Liquors in Orlando was opening a new location. I waited in line uh, for about an hour to be able to score some rare um, allocated whiskey or bourbon. I got there and there were like hundreds of a hundred people in front of me basically. So shout out to Penn Bass or Penn Bass. I don't know how to pronounce your name. P-E-N-N-B-A-S-S. -S. Shout out to you because you called it out. You were like, hey, I was in front of you in line today on one of my other videos. So it was cool to uh, talk to you and cool to know that you're a um, subscriber and watch the video so it's really cool that you know people actually recognize me at liquor stores and stuff like that so shout out to you man thanks for uh, being a supporter and uh, it was really cool to talk to you but um, I waited in line and unfortunately I got inside too late to actually score anything really really good but I was able to score some two good things one of them being a Buffalo Trace single barrel select um, from Bronson Liquor, so definitely, you know, definitely looking forward to getting into that and seeing what that's about. That cost me about 35, but I was also able to get a Caribou Crossing. It is a Canadian whiskey that a uh, single barrel that is also done by Buffalo Trace. Um, and I just haven't seen this in my area, so at least I could say that I bought it and I tasted it, right? So one thing that I'm very glad that I bought and it's just great time and place at my local Soda Wine, they just put out a Eagle Rare, right? They put out like a case of like 12 or six, I don't know how many come in a case, but of Eagle Rare, I was able to buy it at MSRP. Obviously they had limit 
one per customer, but that's cool because hopefully a lot of people are able to get one. Um, but at 35 bucks, you cannot go wrong with this. This is my favorite Buffalo Trace product, and I can never have enough of these, especially at MSRP. Um, which ones do we have left? Yeah, just two more. So. Matt from ADHD Whiskey just did a review about this, so I'm excited to open this, but I haven't tasted it yet. And it is Dixon Deadman's 2XO, the Phoenix Blend. This is a double oaked bourbon, and I'm excited to be able to um, to taste this. So uh, Dixon Deadman left Kentucky Owl. He started his own thing, and yeah, at double oaked, I am intrigued because. I do like my double oaked bourbons. Lastly, I was able to get at MSRP a ECBP C922. Yes, by the Craig Barrel Proof. Finally, finally, because I've been searching for this one, right? I haven't even seen one at like really high prices. I just haven't seen one. Everything has been the B batch or the A batch. So it's actually, it was actually pissing me off, but I was able to get the C batch finally. And it's a good thing that it was at MSRP. Well guys, that is my big whiskey haul for I guess almost two months worth. So let me know if you've tasted any of these. Have you seen this in your area? How much have you paid for it? What do you think about them? And comment below. So comment below on that, but also comment below on any of these that you want me to do a review on first, right? There are some already shot. Um, so I'll definitely edit those and put those out. But if there's any other ones that you want me to review, yeah, comment below, let me know. Now, Please do me a favor, like, dislike, check out the Patreon in the description, that is always appreciated, any little bit counts, but also subscribe if you're not already subscribed because it will help me out get to that thousand subscriber goal and you'll be put in for the 1000k giveaway, right? We're raffling up some stuff so you'll be included in there. Well guys, I'm gonna keep enjoying the rest of this Kentucky Owl, maybe pour myself a little bit more. Let me know um, about those things that I told you to comment uh, about. And I'm going to enjoy this and I want you to enjoy that whiskey. Cheers.